Hey everyone, TragicMTG here with PackBot to do some more uh, random chaos booster packs. I have no idea what's in here. PackBot has these all set up for me. Um, in the past, people have requested that I not show off the last pack, so I just grabbed a random card that I had laying around and I covered the top of it so that uh, you no know, one can see what that last booster pack is. So let's just get into this and see what is up first from PackBot. Pack of Dark Steel. Excellent. Let's get into that thing and see what we get. And as always, we'll be scanning these cards up, the rares at least, to see if there's any value here. Um, older sets like this, I do at least like to look at the commons a little bit. And you can too as well, just to kind of get the flavor of the set. Dark Steel 2004, apparently, is when this came out. Good old Mirrodin block. Got a Hover Guard Observer. Genesis Chamber, which I think is a good uncommon. Talon of Pain. And a Blink Moth Nexus, which I think is a good rare as well. Excellent. These are uh, a couple of good hits here. So we're going to scan up the chamber. Uh, well, the Battle Bond version is only 49 cents. So apparently this has been reprinted at 75 cents one second let me see if my pricing is set up correctly yep that's it mid value 75 cents so it's an okay kind of uncommon but a blink moth nexus is not going to be that version it's going to be 426 for that so that's okay as well. All right, moving on to the next pack. Journey into Nyx. What a surprise. Rouse the Mob. All right, let's see about these commons. Good old Theros block. The original Theros. I, I enjoy this block. What can I say? I like enchantments. Fleet Feather Cockatrice. Spite of Mogis. Riptide Chimera. Worst Fears is a mythic. I don't know if I'm familiar with this. For eight, it's a sorcery. You control target player during that player's next turn. Exile, Worst Fear. That's pretty... I'd be fearful as an EDH player if someone could control my turn. <laughs> so let's see if that's uh, seasoning play. Oh, we got a Foil Aerial Formation. Yeah, it's a buck. That's a little winner right there. Okay, we'll make a mythic pile in case we get more. Aerial formation and a swamp and a hydro token. Very nice. Okay. Moving on to the next pack. Shadowmore. One of my absolute favorite sets. I love the flavor of this plane. It's dark and creepy. Merfolk's a dual color kind of uh, theme to it. Torture. Juvenile Gloom Widow. Man, if that's the juvenile, look out for the adult, right? Wisps, Fate Transfer, Poison the Well. Man, that's rude. Flourishing Defenses, Miss Meadow Skulk, Flow of Ideas, Graven Cairns. Excellent. Decent little land there and a spider token. Uh, add one to your mana pool, or you can pay black or red and then tap it to add an additional like combo. It's like a one, two for one there. Six bucks. That's a decent card right there. All right, next up. Conspiracy. Taking the crown. This Conspiracy 2, I believe, yeah. Oops. Get out of there. I never got to draft any Conspiracy. Um, it's probably a lot of fun. The little additional rules of... Um, being um, the monarch. Fun times. Crustacean. We've got an ascended law mage. Sulfurous blast. Into the void. And Selvala's stampede for the rare. For six, it's a sorcery. It's got Council's Dilemma. That's specific. Starting with you, each player votes for wild or free. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card for each wild vote. Put those creature cards onto the battlefield. Then shuffle the rest into your library. You may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield for each free vote. 
Whew. It's got some possibilities, and then there's a conspiracy agenda card. Yep, four ninety nine for the Stampede. Probably sees a little bit of play, and a Monarch token. All right, all right. Hey, it's a mystery booster of mystery. What could be in here? I wonder. Let's find out. A piece of mine from Eldritch Moon. I, I find that the inking on the mystery booster cards is so much darker than the originals. Uh, they could have gone a little lighter, I think. Well, just, especially like dark cards like with art like that, it is kind of harder to make it out than what the original would have been. Dread Return as an uncommon. Let's check that one. Yeah, it's a buck ninety, the original dual decks version. Um, I'll pull it here. Krinko's Enforcer, the Neonate, the Brawler, the Crowd Goes Wild from Battle Bond. Let's see if that one's good. Ooh, Baleful Strix. Now that's a good uncommon. I love this card and the, uh, especially the art on it. Um, that's a, that's a good one there. Four ninety nine for a Commander version. Mystery booster version still four seventeen. That one's solid. I'll put this in my good uncommons pile right there. Got a Cargan Dragon Lord for a mythic. Wow. For two, it's a human warrior with level up, and you can level it up and do a bunch of stuff. I like the level up uh, mechanic in theory. I don't. I've never actually played with it, um, but just paying to extra to pump up your creatures permanently it makes sense to me. You tell me if you agree down below. We also got a Grave Crawler, another great card. 327 for that. So, uh, Mystery Boosters, I think, are going to. Ooh, Foil Blasting Station, very nice. Mystery Booster Packs are going to probably always be a fun thing just from the extra potential that can come from these. Um, so, I might try to keep some of these on hand. Foil Blasting Station. Sacrifice a creature. Oh yeah, Grave Crawler. We didn't read what Grave Crawler did. Let's go back. It's one drop zombie. It can't block, but you may cast Grave Crawler from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie. It's a two one. It just keeps coming back. You are not getting rid of that thing. Blasting Station. Uh, it's a dark foil. Can the scanner see it? There we go. The Mystery Booster Retail Exclusive. Three ninety nine. Solid. Solid. I say. Next up, Scars of Mirrodin. Man, Packbot, you are on fire today. Giving me the good ones. More Mirrodin stuff. I got a Glint Hawk and a Glint Hawk Idol. Got like turned to stone. That's kind of cool. Same, same artist, too. Very cool. Life Staff. The Dross Hopper. Echo Circlet, Rebuttal, okay we got Infiltration Lens, Corrupted Harvester, Dark Steel Mirror, and a Dark Slick Shores, very nice. Uh, I don't know what you call this land, it enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands, and you can add blue or black. Um, I don't know what the land cycle is called, please tell me down below, but for nine bucks that's a decent rare. Take it. There's a rule card uh, for imprint. Fun. All right. Pack of Battle Bond. Another set that I do enjoy. But oh, it's got the side opener. Let me try it. I think I've got these figured out. Nope, I sure don't. <laughs> About 30% of the time, I'm able to open that side opener thingy. And then the rare is near the top. So we got a zombie, a planes, and a war's toll. For four, it's an enchantment. Whenever an opponent taps a land for mana, tap all lands that player controls. If a creature an opponent controls attacks, all creatures that opponent controls attack if able. That's got some possibilities too. Let's see. It's okay. It's a reprint from Dissension, and it's a buck thirty-six. So I don't know. It's it's a powerful effect. It's two powerful effects if you can build around it, right? Caramitra's Favor, Trumpet Blast, and Jubilant Mascot for the rares. Any good uncommons? Some reprints. A Riptide Crab. Snow Golem. Yeah, nothing too crazy there. So, 
All right, last up underneath. Hey, that's it. under the underneath this ancestral recall. What is it going to be? The mystery. It's a pack of time spiral. You weren't expecting that, were you? All right, let's open this up. Maybe we'll get a time shifted card. Errant Ephemeron. Illusion. Strangling Soot. Gem Hide Sliver. That's a uh, that's a common that I would scan and pull because it's a buck ninety one. There we go. Mind stab. Yeah, that guy's having a very bad day. A dryad. Mystical teachings. Oh, I'm not sure about every common, but let me check it. Not that one. Reprinted in mystery booster, apparently. Got a lens, clock spinning. Uncommon. Smallpox. Thunder Totem. Spore Sower thal Thalid. A Bogarden Hellkite. I think I might have got a foil. Hellkite is uh, an 8 drop dragon, 5 5 with flash and flying. Comes into play, it deals 5 damage divided as you choose among any tar number of target creatures and our players. Dragon players out there, is this a good dragon? Seems good. It's a little high cost. Ooh, we got a time shifted org. Uh, Bogarden Hellkite got reprinted apparently at Mythic in 2010. I imagine the original is not too out of control. Yep, 75 cents. Got an org and a foil forest. Which still looks pretty nice. So the org is, I don't think that really counts as a rare of any kind. It says it's a rare, but we'll just throw it in the rare pile. So that's it. Hey, I got an Ancestral Recall. That's a pretty good card, too. Uh, that's it for this set of packs. Thanks for joining me and Packbot for this. As always, uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Catch you on the next video. Thanks.